So, have you guys heard this song? Yes. yes. So, did a wave of nostalgia rush through you when you heard the song? Yes. Have you been missing those afternoons in at five in the afternoon when you used to sit in front of the TV and watch the ten-year-old kid and his cool, small little electrifying mouse companion adventure all across the world, searching for beasts known as pocket monsters or Pokemon, in short? Have you ever thought how amazing it would be if you could catch Pokemon in real life? I have. I have always had a dream of catching Pokemon in real life ever since my childhood. Forget being doctor, engineer, scientist, programmer, I wanted to be a Pokemon master when I grew up. <laughs> but then this was in the childhood and alas, as the years roll on, Ash and Pikachu slowly got pushed to the back of my mind alongside Goku, Sakura, Angelmon and family. And it seemed like they would be lying there forever. But then, in around February 2016, something magical happened. Pokemon celebrated its 20th anniversary in that month. And the Pokemon company, that's literally the name of the Pokemon company, announced a new mobile app that would allow you to catch Pokemon in real locations, in real time, in the real world. This would naturally make my childhood dream come true and I was incredibly excited for it. Then, in July, the Pokemon Go app launched. And the rest, as they say, is history. <laughs> so, the Pokemon Go trailer itself had convinced me that my childhood dream of catching Pokemon in real life would come true. But fortunately or unfortunately, it seemed like millions of people all over the world shared the same dream. And that would have been great, except that even though Pokemon Go had opted for a staggered launch in multiple locations across the world, just about anyone could come in, download the APK through means either legal or illegal, and play. This naturally was unexpected for the Pokemon company, and the servers were put under immense strain. For about the first two weeks, the only Pokemon I could catch was Network Error. <laughs> That was about for the first two weeks. After that, the game slowly started to stabilize, but there were still a few glitches here and there. That, unfortunately, led the developers to go for the absolute nuclear option. Disable the app in locations where it is not officially released. One fine day, I opened the app, and then I saw that no Pokemon is showing up on my screen. I went online and checked and saw that they have geo-blocked the banner. So after a couple of uh, weeks of catching Bulbasaur and a couple of other small Caterpie, Weedle and Rattata, I was dismayed to not be able to catch anything. The map was absolutely blank. No gyms, no Pokestops, nothing. And that led to the interest of a lot of people waning. There was a time when you would go just about anywhere and the only thing you would hear is Pokemon Go, Pokemon Go, Pokemon Go. Kaun sa Pokemon pakda kya kiya? You know how it goes in Hindi. And then it took way too long for the company to launch the app in India. About three to four months like this. They came up with a partnership with Geo and launched the app in India and ultimately the number of people who actually ended up joining the app ended up being merely 1% of the number of people who would have joined if the app would have launched in time. This was a huge missed opportunity. We could have all walked along the streets and caught Pokemon. <laughs> but then, that was not to be. However, I am not saying that the experience was not good. It was an amazing experience for however long it lasted. I still remember the day when a rare Hitmonchan showed up at Hyper City Kundana League Gate and there was a huge crowd of people around there trying to catch it. Only some of us managed to catch it, I was one of them. 
I still remember the day when the about three Pokestops were lured one after the another and there were small crowds of people at each Pokestop trying to catch Pokemon and gain items. I still remember the day when I took down a Pokemon gym battling alongside a complete stranger united only by the love of Pokemon. But then, after some time, the crowd started dropping off. It started to get lonely. And things started to fall apart. People, not only were people dismayed by the missed opportunity initially, there were a lot of requests from the Pokemon company to give us trading and battling, player versus player. And to this day, I don't think they have been implemented. And that is why a lot of players started dropping off and eventually only a handful of players have stayed. I sometimes think, oh, what could have been if the app would have been handled a little better? We could all have been living the dream. I have walked countless kilometers, taken over dozens of gyms, caught hundreds of Pokemon, and I was living the dream, but yet, Today, it is still a dream. It now is a case of Pokemon Go, Pokemon Going, Pokemon Gone. <laughs> Before I end, I'd like a show of hands. How many of you played the Pokemon Go game when it launched first? And how many of you play it to this day? Only one. <laughs> you must be still living. <laughs> For the rest of us, it's go going on. Thank you. <laughs>